Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm here with Park McLean, Norfolk Power Equipment. Tis the season, snow is falling, and before it's too late, we need to take a look at snow blowers. Park, what we see, or I'm sure you see, is people coming in, or the, you know, there's several inches on the ground, and all of a sudden it's time to fire it up, and it's not working properly. At that point, perhaps it's too late. So, hoping you can give us some guidance on what should we be looking for, what do we need to know in terms of maintenance, what can we do now before that big nor'easter comes our way? So the first thing you want to do is definitely um, grab your owner's manual, flip to the pages that are going to tell you, talk about maintaining the machine, uh, and really look through it and get a good idea of what you think you'll be comfortable with. Um, some of the more basic steps you can take to make sure you don't have any issues. Some of the biggest problems we see revolve around um, bad fuel. Okay. And by that I mean fuel that has been left in the machine since last season uh, without any sort of additive or anything like okay. that. Uh, a lot a lot of problems do revolve around that. So that's something right off the bat, the first thing you could do. And that bad fuel, because it comes from a gas station, it's stored Yeah, the, the, what, uh, scientifically it's because of what we're blending in it. We're blending a lot more ethanol. Okay. Uh, ethanol is typically not an issue on larger pieces of equipment, cars and that sort of thing. Uh, but smaller pieces of power equipment, such as snow blowers, uh, it, it can wreak havoc on the engines uh, okay. if proper guidelines aren't followed. So this, this big can of flammable liquid that you just gave me, what do we need to know about? So you need to know there's a couple different varieties out there. Uh, in this case, this is blended at a 50 to 1 mi uh, mixture. This is to be utilized in smaller equipment, uh, string trimmers, backpack blowers, and so forth. What I have here is the exact same thing. The only difference is there's no oil in it. Okay. Uh, this is going to be used in your bigger equipment, your lawn mowers, your snow blowers, and so forth. And this is really what you want to make sure that you put in the machine at the end of the season. Okay. Uh, a lot of this equipment is being used on a semi-frequent basis. It's not so much of an issue, but once that fuel starts sitting for an extended period of time, that's when these issues develop. And using a fuel like this is going to uh, virtually eliminate those issues. Okay, and, and hopefully give longer life to your investment. Absolutely. And goes all along with proper maintenance. So I think, again guys, uh, preventative maintenance, making sure your snowblower is ready to go. Do so before too late. If you need any help, folks here at Norfolk Power Equipment can ask for Park. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Park, any, any one of our staff here, we're all factory or trained rather uh, okay. to answer your questions. And so. make sure your equipment's ready for the season. Thanks so much.